The sun will never set on the Danimal Kingdom. Bang! We have done it again! Welcome back to another Dan Squared video, you Danimals. Seven Star Incineroar is here, and I did not stream it because I was busy. But luckily, one of my mods, Curbs, thank you, Curbs, has us covered with a build and strategy. And yeah, let's do it. Let's talk about it. Dan Dozo the Unrivaled is the star of today's video. It is a fighting Terradon Dozo holding the shell bow for some recovery. Now, this full build is going to be in the description, but I'll just touch on it loosely. Unaware is the reason why we used on Dozo, because that allows us to ignore all the benefits that Incineroar gets from spamming bulk up. Then moves wise, we have Curse to raise our attack and defense. Chilling Water to charge our Terra Orb, lower Incineroar's attack early, and we have Body Press. We're going to use that because it's slightly more efficient than Terra Blast, as I'll get into a little bit later. EVs, that's to get this spread to build this. You probably already have it built, especially if you did 7-star Dondozo, but give it Dondozo. Uh, it's, it's normal ability. This is not a hidden ability unaware. Give it 26 HP up, 26 Iron, and 1 Zinc, a Bold Mint. I put a, a Hyper Train it. And you're ready to rock and roll and easily solo seven star Incineroar. Time for the battle of the two unrivaled Pokemon. We have a set course of action that we can follow to get some consistent, slow and steady wins against seven star Incineroar. The step by step guide is going to be in the description. But as always, we're going to demonstrate it so you can see it in action. So turn one, it's chilling water. Then turn two, we're going to have our ability and stats negated. So at that point, we have to take a look at Incineroar stats, nice, because we don't have Unaware anymore. So if Incineroar's attack is increased, we are gonna take extra damage. So if its attack is increased, we can protect, but in this case, its attack is not increased, so I'm gonna go right to our second Chilling Water. So the purpose for this is, if Incineroar does some early bulk ups, it'll have that its attack up and will just take too much extra damage on turn two. The unaware, obviously, it uh, allows us to ignore the increase in attack and defense on Incineroar. But if its attack isn't raised, then it's not hurting us. So that's why we skip the protect. You'll see the protect in the step by step. So now we're a little ahead of schedule. I'm going to go to the third chilling water. And then after that, we will Terrastalize and start using Curse. Again, thank you to Curbs for taking, uh, giving me this build and strategy. Glad to see our first Dark Terra 7-star Terra Raid. Now we've finally seen all of the Terra types in 7-star Terra Raids. So now we are going to Terrastalize and use Curse. Why are we Terrastalizing? We're not attacking because then we'll have a better typing. We'll have the Fighting type, which will uh, give us a resistance to Darkest Lariat. That is Incineroar's strongest attack. It ignores any increases to our defense. While we're Terrastalizing, I want to know. What Pokemon have you used so far to defeat 7-star Incineroar? There are some bulk ups, good. So now we're going to use Curse until we get to about like 150 HP. Then I prefer a nice quick HP cheer. I guess we could go with a nice body press to at least get some damage back. So why body press and not just using Fighting Terra Terra Blast? So, because we're using Body Press, we can use one less Curse, so it makes it slightly faster. Turn one, Incineroar will use Intimidate to lower our attack. So we would need seven Curses to get to max attack. We only need six Curses to get to max defense. So we'll see, we're getting there, we're getting there. So we're just gonna keep it, I'm at 239, so I'm gonna keep Cursing. And then once we get it, it's like 150 or so. Hopefully it'll get burned, that would be a real shame. If we get burned, I'll for sure be inclined to want to do an HP cheer. We don't want to half our damage because our damage output is already kind of tragic between you and me. I'm still holding out hope we get 7-star Coraidon and Miraidon Terror Raids. Or even 5-star to like unshiny lock them, but I think it would be such a fun way to unshiny lock the Miraidon and, and Coraidon, the box legendaries, instead of just like a code giveaway. So there's a curse. And now we have to really monitor and let's see what's going on here. We're at 136. I don't want to be in critical hit range because then we will get knocked out. We get knocked out here, we lose. Okay, so there's no problem. There's the shields. And as turn for best AI allies, maybe just, let's heal up, let's do a heal up. Maybe just 
Well, Drift Blim is nice because it can burn it. Uh, Arcanine with Flamethrower can inflict a burn to uh, half the physical damage. Gardevoir is great for healing. The Intimidators are help. But unfortunately, the Pokemon that use like Leer, like Arcanine's Leer, Weavile's Leer, it's not going to be able to help us because unaware. So we can't really increase our damage output too much. I'm at 179. 179 and plus four. Okay. So I'm going to... I didn't get a great heal tier. So in this case, I'm going to body press again and try to get a little bit of HP. I, the goal here is just play it as efficiently as possible to get two plus six defense. Then we're going to throw up a toughen up at the defense tier or stick it out. What's it called? What's it called? I'm blanking. We'll find out. All right, I'm at 200, so I'll do another curse. That tier is hang tough, hang tough. None of the above. So we're going to go to curse number five. And once we get to curse number six, yeah, we're going to throw up that defense tier, not the attack tier because Dandozo, or is a crit, yikes. D Dandozo is using body press, so its defense is calculating the damage. So to hang tough, it'll help us take these hits and do more damage with body press. So we are almost there. I think we can only take one more, so let's body press, then curse. Then we'll get rolling. Yeah, I don't love that. It's definitely a slower build, and so I don't know if I would recommend this for farming. I don't know how many people are still farming the seven star terror raids in general. But if you do, probably Malamar is faster. I would say so, or yeah. <laughs> but listen, slow and steady wins their race. It's the tortoise or the hare, it's the cat. The cat and the catfish, only separated by four letters. So we're gonna go curse number six, Darkest Lariat. Darkest Lariat, gonna ignore our defense raises. So it's still gonna do a good amount of damage. That's why it's so strong, just like a sacred sword or something. So we're at plus six now, lovely. So because we're only at 117, I'm going to, oop, I misclicked. I meant to use body press. That's a real shame. Maybe I'll edit that out. Okay. Oh, that's a mistake. Uh, yep, I have misclicked. We're cursing all the way at plus six defense. Okay. One moment, I have made a mistake. I've made a crucial mistake. We're gonna heal up. And that way we can heal up so we can uh, get an attack off. Is <laughs> the seventh curse put us too low. What are you gonna do? Okay. Now we're healed back up. I made a quick mistake. I accidentally used the seventh curse so that I had to waste a turn with curse and then a turn healing. So we'll see if those two wasted turns come back to bite us or we have enough room for error. There's a hit. Let's do another hit, restore some HP. After this hit, once we restore a little more HP, we're gonna use that hang tough to give us some extra body press damage. And I want you to hang tough and make sure you join my YouTube and TikTok live streams as I'm shiny hunting all of the Hoenn legendary Pokemon as of right now, I'm going for Latias. It's my first hunt that's gone over 100 encounters. I got Groudon in 67, Rayquaza 72, and Kyogre in 92, but Latias over 100. Let's lock in and do some damage. So now we've hanged tough. Now we're ready to do damage finally. Now we're ready for the big boy damage. Let's see. Between you and me, it ain't gonna be that big. But it's gonna get us to win. Incineroar's poison, great. Body press, come on. Maybe two to pop the shield. Give us two to pop the shield. Okay, see, okay, the hang tough makes it a little better. So we're gonna make that mistake. We're gonna make that mistake and we're still gonna win. But it's gonna be slow. Not the most efficient use of our time. Oh. Do you think we'll get any more legendary seven star terror raids? Hope so the starters they've almost gone through every single starter just for alligator and superior but there we'll pop the shield there we go hang tough helps even with wasting two turns dan dozo is going to get the job done don't be like me don't curse seven times flare blitz please don't burn us because we are out of cheers because i made an oopsie thank you and make sure 
you let me know your birthday Pokemon team. If you don't know what I'm talking about, there's going to be a card right there. Your three Pokemon birthday team. I got Lopunny, Mega Lopunny good, Blipbug, and Minchino. If you don't want, you can check out the European one. But we're about to get this win. You know what? The Hang Tough makes a big difference. The Hang Tough makes a world of difference. The sun will never set on the Danimal Kingdom. Bang! We have done it again. Conquered another 7-star Terror Raid. What Pokeball are you using to catch in 7-star Incineroar and Pokemon Scarlet and Violet? I'm going with the Love Ball because of how much the Pokemon community loves Incineroar. Really a crowd favorite. But let me know in the comments what Pokeball you're catching Incineroar in. If you enjoyed this video, please consider dropping a like, leaving a comment, or using body press on that subscribe button to join the Danimal Kingdom. Thanks for watching and happy Incineroar season.